and welcome to my channel. I am Danny, and this is my channel, Danny Paranormal. Um, as you know, it is October, and um, it's almost the end of October, and today could not be the most perfect October day because it is raining and it's gloomy and the leaves are falling and it's cool outside and I want to do a pretty October type of look Halloweeny things so um, I've been gone for a long time from YouTube but I'm hoping that I can pick it back up now that I am at a permanent place where I officially live. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started. To prime my eyes, I am using this Essence Color Intensifying Eye Primer. You can find it at the dollar store. I've used this stuff in the past um, and repurchased it. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it will get you by in a pinch if you just need something for an eye primer. Okay, so now that I have done that, I'm going to go ahead and go into my trusty Kat Von D, or, well, KVD now, um, but this is an old palette, so it's still technically the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, which is sadly discontinued. Um, and I'm just going to set the eye primer with my favorite um, setting eyeshadow. And that's the latest from the palette. help to keep the eyeshadows from catching and keep them blending out keep help them to blend out nicely I'm also going to be using the black in this palette because it is an amazing black so before I go in with the black eyeshadow, um, I don't normally do this, but because I'm going to use a lot of that black eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and kind of map out where I'm going to put the black eyeshadow and blend it out.
If it gets messy, um, it's going to be a sunlooky eye anyway. So now I am going to go in with this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. It looks like this. And I'm going into the black in this eyeshadow, which is called Shax, I believe. Yeah. And I'm just going to pat this on top of the black bean. Okay, so now I am going to use a fluffy brush. And the brush that I'm using is a Luxie 227 blending brush. It's also kind of tapered. Um, it's not super fluffy. And it's kind of like tapered off. And I'm going to blend out this black. back in to do some more blending in just a moment but now what we are going to do is we are going to go into this ColourPop palette which I don't remember the name of it because it's not on the, um, it's not like written on the palette anywhere, but this is what it looks like on the outside. And these are all the colors on the inside, but I just had to have it. And the shade that I am using is called 000. zero, zero. Like not kidding, and it is this brilliant orange color. Look, pencil is all yucky. But anyway, just to make sure it sticks, I'm going to put this on the rest of the lid where there's no black. And uh, it's my milk pencil's all gross, but I'm going to do the best that I can. Just like that is great. Um, and I am going to use a brush, um, kind of like a packing brush. Sorry, the rain is starting to pick up now. So you hear like a fuzzy kind of sound, that's what that is. 
Um, this is the Vintage Cosmetics Company, and it says Step 1 for the money. It doesn't tell me the actual, like, type of brush, but it's like a packing brush. And I'm going to go straight into that 000 shade from ColourPop and get it all on there. It's looking just a little bit red. I'm just gonna go in around the edges. I did think that that might happen. Um, I'm going in with this match. I'm going in with the Smashbox um, Cover Shot Bold Eye Palette. And I'm using the shade, um, wait, what? <laughs> and, um, I'm just gonna kind of like brighten up the orange. And I'm just using a very tiny brush to do that, just like around, like the edges. those edges. So now I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'll be back to finish up the eyes. Back to the eyes. So, um, what I am going to do now is I am just going to fix this inner corner area by getting a small brush this should do fine um, and just a little bit of that same latest color and blending that out softening the edges a little bit that looks better because it was kind of doing a weird thing the other side to do it too. And now it's not. I'm going to take um, a 
small brush like this. It is the e.l.f. small precision, precision brush and some of the black and I'm going to drag that on my lower lash line. So, um, next I am going to take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, and this is the shade Puppy. And I'm going to put that in the waterline. A whole ass branch just fell out of my tree. I'm gonna try this out. I'm not entirely sure it's going to work out. I have another one of these small precision brushes from Elf. This Elf. This one's clean. And I'm going to try to use this ColourPop glitter. It's in the same palette as before. This one in, is in Boom Baya. It is the gorgeous orange glitter in the palette. And I'm going to pop this over top the orange in my uh, inner corner here and see how that does. I've never applied these with a brush before. I we'll just use my finger, but it gets very messy, so I'm going to try doing it this way. this way but it's less messy and I can be a little more precise with the glitter. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take a little bit of Kat Von D Thunderstruck and I'm going to highlight my face with it as well as put it in the inner corner and right in here. Such a beautiful highlight though. Brush, this is an old brush, but it is a trusty dusty brush of mine. And I'm gonna put this So I am also going to take the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, which is also discontinued. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to take...
take the color pink opal, which is, it's kind of sort of the same-ish as um, Thunderstruck, but not because it's more intense. And I'm going to put that on top of Thunderstruck. I am also going to put a little bit of the pink opal over the thunderstruck over here as well. And I'm going to put some on my nose. Just by itself. It's kind of a uh, chunky for the lips, but it's kind of fun too. So that's it for uh, my little Halloween addition to my channel. Um, it's been fun because I've really been wanting to come back to YouTube and here I am for Halloween. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for another video.